Yahoo Fantasy Football, the Tucson Tackle Dummies League, has reached the postseason. Week 15 action will be the quarterfinals of the league playoffs. We're going to give you a brief preview of the four matchups that will make up the opening round of the postseason. The quarterfinals will kick off with the 1 versus 8 matchup, the Pain Trains, taking on Is This the CFL? The only meeting between these two teams took place last season, as they did not face off at all this season. Last season, Week 8 in the 2009 schedule, Payne won that matchup by over 68 points. So CFL got squashed in the only history between these two teams. This is uh, Payne's third straight year in the postseason. However, this team has a losing record in the postseason, 2-3 and three all time in postseason play. CFL's first playoff appearance will be this game. Uh, Payne Trains has a history of being in the postseason, though, as we mentioned. Payne actually finished third in the first season of the league and then wound up sixth in the second season of the league. So Payne's looking to turn around their uh, 2009 fortunes in this year's playoffs. The winner of that matchup will tape on, take on the winner of the 4-5 matchup, which will be Polax, the Aztec Division winner, taking on the best wild card, uh, Fight Smash Win. These two teams met Week 11 as Fight won that one by over 33 points. Polax, though, won the only meeting these two teams had in 2009. Polax, this is their second playoff appearance, uh, but if you watch the Week 14 recap, you'll know Polax actually has a career losing record, and both playoff appearances came after losing record regular seasons. Polax is 0-2 in postseason play, losing in the quarterfinals in 2008, and then losing the fifth place game as, as well. This will be Fight's first playoff appearance, however, after joining the league last season. On the other side of the bracket, Jammed Toe, the number three seed and winner of the Caballero Division will take on number six, Big Ben's Revenge. These two teams actually met week five in a huge high-scoring affair as these two teams combined for over 300 points. Toe won that one by over 31 points, uh, but Toe actually posted their highest score all season playing against Big Ben in week five, and Big Ben's only loss outside his division was this game in week five. So these two teams have a bit of history. It's going to be very interesting to see how they will square off uh, in the postseason. And both teams actually did not face each other last season as Cho played everybody in the league except for Big Ben in 2009 play. Cho has a 2-1 in one record in postseason uh, play, having joined the league last year and finishing third when all was said and done after the postseason wrapped up. This will be Big Ben's first playoff appearance after finishing 7-7 seven and seven and narrowly missing the playoffs last year. And the winner of that matchup will take on the winner of the 2 versus 7 game as number 2 Delicious Pancakes, winner of the impressive Wildcat Division, will take on number 7 Bucknuts. Uh, these two teams have never met. The owners have never met each other. Uh, Pancakes, two-time defending champion, though. This team won the championship in 2008 and 2009, while Bucknuts will be making their first playoff appearance despite all the turmoil surrounding this team during the regular season. So... That's your playoff preview as we head into the quarterfinal matchups, which will kick off with the Thursday game and head through the Monday game coming up. So we'll hope to see everybody back for the quarterfinal recap next Tuesday.